Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for your bi-weeklies. And this is going to be for October 30th to November 12th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you would like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries, paranormal, or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so first of all, what we're going to do first here, Leo, we did this last time for the last bi-weeklies, and you guys really gave me a lot of feedback in the comments, and you told me that you really liked it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do your astrology, what's going to happen for the next two weeks. Then we're going to move into your romantic love life and we're going to see what's going to happen there. Also want to see who's going to come towards you. So who's coming towards you in your romantic love life. So stick with me till the end. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in. So you got Mercury, Mars, the sun, and you got Pisces. So you've got three planets and actually the sun is your ruler. So I see that there is something to do with the third house, okay? Um, excuse me, not the third house. I was I think in Gemini. I keep seeing, uh, feeling Gemini because the, the last two readings, I had Gemini there. So, but we have Mercury, Mars, and the Sun. So obviously there's a lot to do with communication here, okay, and intelligence. And we have Mars, which talks about passion, um, so drive getting stuff done, okay, arguments, fights, you know, disputes. Mars is a warrior, a soldier, you know? Um, so he just gets stuff done. And Mercury is like, but we're gonna get stuff done, but we're not gonna jump in because we gotta make sure we plan things properly, you know, because you can't just jump into something without really figuring it out and planning it first. And then the sun chart shows me that it's like, okay, but we're also gonna look at this from a higher perspective. We're also going to look at this from the perspective of authority, okay? We're also going to look at this from the perspective of um, recognition, because that's also the Sun card energy. So I want to bring light to this situation when I talk about this and I plan this and I get this done. And Pisces is saying, okay, well, you know, there was stuff that you did before in the past with the 12 card energy. And uh, something that needs to be revealed here, you've detached from that situation, you know, you got stuck there. And so we need to revisit this again, okay? But not be confused and get caught up in our emotions here. So we obviously know communication is a factor here because the answers that you need are coming. But it's also showing me because of Mars being there, you guys are stepping outside of your comfort zone. And you know what? In the Sun card is also the leadership card. Also with Mars is too, because it's first house of the Aries. But uh, you know, the Sun is like the king. So the king is coming in there and like, okay, we need to release some stuff here. We need to release this negativity, these things of the past. And remember also that um, there is going to be a full lunar eclipse coming. So full moon lunar eclipse coming up um, November 8th. And obviously we're talking about the moon energy, which talks about the subconscious mind. And also the eclipse energies always bring big surprises and big changes. So it's interesting that Mars, Sun, and then Pisces is there, right? Which also talks about like things to do with the past, talks about loss, talks about detachment, talks about spirituality, okay? And it's like, you got these fears, this negativity that you've dealt with, and now you're gonna have to deal with them and they're, they're being released here. And it also looks like you're really gonna drive home, you know, drive home. You're gonna drive things forward here and be able to put a lot of work into what you got to get done, okay? You're really driven to get things done. And also, there's going to be some communication. It's interesting, there's the Gemini energy. So some kind of talking and speaking about this, and the answers that you have been waiting for are going to come, but they're not going to come the way you expect them to. So they're going to come in the most unusual way, because we're talking about the North Node there. Um, but it does look like you're going to release. There's going to be a lot of things you're going to release through this eclipse energy and the next couple of weeks here when it comes to negativity or stuff that's been in the subconscious there. So again, we got this someone who is fighting over some kind of commitment here. Okay. And it's a little bit unusual, a little bit out of uh, your wheelhouse. Okay. Or something eccentric about the situation. And there is like the sun card energy, this powerful energy. And also it's interesting. The moon is here and the sun is here. So it's like, 
I'm gaining the power here, I'm taking control of this, I'm making this power move, and a lot of people are appreciating you for that. And you are being very optimistic about this, which is interesting because Pisces is ruled by Jupiter, which is optimism. So we see there's a very optimistic energy coming in because you're like, I'm getting stuff done. I'm finally getting on top of the stuff that I've been waiting to get on top of. And also for some of you guys, definitely, there's been some stuff that you've been holding on to, even subconsciously, maybe you're not even aware of, that's gonna be released in the next couple weeks. But we see a lot of enthusiasm coming in and you guys are very impulsive. You're going towards what you want here. That's what I see also. And also there is some sense of seduction coming in here. Okay, so we're gonna have to see what's gonna play out in your romantic love life when we go over your romantic love life next. But if we look at this from your romantic love life, okay, we're looking at this from career and finance, but if you look at this from romantic love life, you could be dealing with a, you know, Pisces energy for some of you guys, okay? Or one of the rulers could be Mercury, Mars, or Sun. Um, and you've been waiting for some kind of answers here because there may have been an argument or fight, but it's not coming together the way you expected it to. There's a power move that's being made here because somebody really wants to gain your attention, your appreciation, and you're really happy and optimistic about this because uh, there's a lot of chemistry and passion here in an impulsive decision that will be made, but it's gonna be good because it looks very optimistic too. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and let's move into your romantic love life and find out What's the blockages? What's gonna happen? Who's coming towards you? What's influencing it? What's your advice? All right, so what's gonna have my Leo's romantic love life for October 30th to November 12th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Leo, let's see. We got the full card energy. Okay, we got the Nine of Wands. We got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, we got the Six of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Chariot. The Page of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups, wow, okay. And the Empress. All right, influence, 10 of pentacles, blockage, four of wands, advice, the world card, who's coming towards you, star card, at the bottom of the deck, eight of cups, so someone's been avoiding some things because of worry and concern or someone who wasn't telling the truth, now the timing is right and we see there's an impulsive, passionate action being taken here. To manifest or something you've manifested, magician card energy, or because there is a realization, you're my ideal partner, and there's a passionate situation, or the timing is right for this passionate situation, or well, let's get more information here. Okay, so why is the influence the 10 of pentacles? Now, the influence in romantic love life could be family, could be money, 10 of pentacles energy, or it could be saying something is being accomplished or completed here. So what is this Ten of Pentacles about? Why is the influence for Leo's romantic love life the Ten of Pentacles? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so I feel like in this situation, okay, somebody has been trying to put the pieces together. And uh, definitely there has been this sense of, okay, I didn't appreciate you before. I didn't realize your value, your worth. And I've kind of hid myself from you until I figured things out. But when I finally put the pieces together, I had an awareness that this is the person I wanted to be with. I really thought about this. I've been trying to manifest what I want here. I've been examining the situation from my head and I lack the appreciation, okay. I really wanna put you on this pedestal. I wanna bring light to this situation. I've been looking at your pictures and I feel overwhelmed, okay. Let's move this out of the way. 
Why is the four of wands here? Four of wands can represent a happy home, can represent a marriage for the blockage, okay? Can represent a solid foundation, maybe someone's far away because it can represent a house. Why is the four of wands here? Why is the four of wands here? For the blockage, please, for Leo. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I've been hiding this situation from you. I want to open things up. I've been confused. I want to have this conversation. People have been talking to me, holding me back, and I felt tied to the situation. I gained knowledge, or I need to gain some kind of knowledge, and I need to make an intelligent decision. I've been trapped in my bubble, and I realized that I can break free, or I need to break free from this bubble, because I see some signs of change. I keep examining the situation or overanalyzing the situation. Okay. Why is the chariot card here? Chariot cards can talk about, um, excuse me, the world card. Why is the world card here for the advice? What's the world card talk about? Something that needs to be accomplished or completed or things that need to come full circle or travel could be involved with the situation. I feel like also for you guys just looking at this, I feel like you need to be on the same page. Okay, why is the world card here for the advice? I feel that some person is like very protective and now there's this conversation is about to be brought to light. And you know, instead of being very cautious and defensive, you need to just go forward with this. It's like you're trying to avoid this situation and you got this letter, this message, and it's like you're not wanting to deal with it. Yeah, again, you've got this letter, this message here, and uh, it looks like they gave you a rose, or they gave you some kind of gift, and it looks like other people are trying to talk in the background to you about it. So you've got to face it. And you have to realize that you have more power here that you can wield in this conversation. Okay, so, star card. So Starcard can talk about someone that you're very hopeful about, someone you had a spiritual message about for the person coming towards you. But let's get more information. Why is the star card here for the person that's coming towards Leo? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. I feel like what it's saying to me is as someone you feel is very good at writing, as someone you feel is very knowledgeable, they may also be really good at math, they're very intelligent, um, and they are very logical about things. I feel like this person is a little bit of a show off too, uh, also could be musically inclined for some of you guys. But knows, knows how to joke around also. This person may play chess. They're very strategic. Um, and uh, they're, they're also very hesitant to move towards change. Okay, so that's the person coming towards you. So let's now look into what's gonna happen here. So we've got the full card energy. And the full card can represent someone new, okay? And we see what sign is here. Okay, we've got the chariot. We got the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, so the full card I can see in a couple different ways. This is a new individual, okay, or someone's ready to take a risk. Leap of faith here. There's been a, a, a little bit of a situation where there's been a lack of balance or a lack of giving or not an equal give and take. And so now this person's like, I want to reach out to you, Leo. I want to find out what's going on. So I'm, I'm taking a risk to reach out to you to communicate. And uh, Nine of Wands shows me that there's this very, you know, very cautious energy. And there's a defeated energy here. I don't know, should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away from this situation? But Leo, you're everything that I want. And then we have this 
this Eight of Pentacles energy. I really want to put the work into this connection. I really desire you. I want to travel towards you. And we see they meet even like what was Pentacles? Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long term. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Empress is saying this can be abundance. You know, so you're everything that I want. I want, I want you in abundance, okay? There could be the sense that I see so much potential in our connection, okay? There could be, I want to start a family with you. But let's get more information. Let's have my Leo's Romantic Love Life, October 30th to November 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, this is a new person who is interested in a commitment. Concerns about restrictions and boundaries. We see that there is wants lots of the main person, okay? Wants some kind of abundance with the main person, okay? Concerns about uh, taking away some kind of change in the connection. Wants your attention and maybe far away or is looking for a long-term situation. They want to take away the distance and these restrictions and boundaries. Okay. Also, child card could talk about somebody who wants a child with them and is interested in a long-term commitment or there could already be marriage here. And um, wants to, to uh, move away from these restrictions and boundaries or more, wants more of a strategic, like, let's get on schedule. Let's get more organized. Let's get more structured here. Um, we see, I want to win you over. Um, I feel like I've won here. Main character, you are the love interest. I want to take away this change and get your attention. Okay. So it's going to have my Leo's Romantic Love Life for October 30th to November 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Also, lots of children. Okay. Changing something to do with a marriage or commitment Main character, you are the love interest. I want your attention. Let's put some boundaries and restrictions in place and take away this distance, this faraway energy. So as you see, you guys are getting communication. You're going to have to make the best decision for you or this person sees you as the best decision for them. I want to be more than just friends. I want to apologize to you. I'm hopeful of a positive outcome to bring things into balance. There's something new with an offer here being presented of romance and we see something about the situation that there's concerns that something is hidden okay or someone isn't telling someone something about the situation so let's go further here single and available to pursue i'm really obsessed with you i want to offer love to you and communicate this to you you're shocked and surprised there's sense, a sense of happiness okay and you're gaining knowledge about this opportunity, but you're cautious and defensive because of something to do with chemistry and passion with an ex-partner. And so you don't want to make any abrupt decisions because of this power move, because of something to do with pregnancy, nurturing, mother energy, or someone you have children with. So you're trying to be patient to see how things are going to play out before you make an effort here. And this person, your other person, has uh, uncertainty where they stand with you. Okay. So let's get more information here influence isolation or separation or distancing yourself because of family or money or something that needs to complete it first marriage okay main character that's part of the blockage or house could be part of the blockage traveling is the advice or movement or change is the advice and who's coming towards you well, the person is coming towards you is going to give you a really great outcome in love, okay? And it's really hopeful, and some of you guys may feel spiritually connected to this person. And also, you're, you listen to your intuition. This is the person that also you feel is going to be a good outcome for you guys. Or, okay. All right, my beautiful Leos. I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.